Well, as you can see, took out two pretty good sized trees there. And, uh, I have to tell you, man, I'm just having too much fun with this new grapple. Well, hey folks, welcome to Ariel J on Farms. I'm Jess, and today's video is about grapples. More specifically, the Everything Attachments Wicked 66. So I ordered this grapple back in October, come in a few weeks ago, and I've been putting it through its paces. I'm excited, I don't know if you can tell. Stick around, because at the end, uh, I'm gonna compare this one to a grapple that I already have and I've used quite a bit in the past, and that is the Titan Industries uh, HD Extreme Grapple. Now I'll talk about the Wicked 66, the Titan Grapple, and what I like and dislike about both. So be sure and check that out. Now before we get too far along, I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor. I'm really trying to grow the channel to get this thing out there. Uh, if you would be so kind as to leave a comment below on the Wicked 66, the Titan Grapple, uh, any suggestions for future videos, anything you'd like to see out of this grapple in the future, drop it down below. Also, click that like button for me, consider subscribing. I would much appreciate it. And again, we'd love to hear from you. Anyhow, there'll be plenty of talking at the end of the video, but I got some trees to take out some fence lines to clean up, and plenty of brush, briars, vines to rip out. So let's get going and put this thing into action.
as you can tell there i was having way too much fun now i want to get that little area cleaned up uh pretty quick because uh, probably today i'm going to be spreading some ryegrass on this whole bottom pasture here and i wanted that done that way while i'm putting out ryegrass i can just spread it on those bare spots and uh, get some grass coverage uh, anytime you clear land like this uh you know the earth is going to cover itself somehow so if you want something specific there then you need to do that because you can't control uh you know what the earth covers covers it with and most of the time the first thing that pops up is probably going to be weeds that's just how it works uh weeds first and the grasses come later so you can kind of bypass that step by just going ahead and and spreading some seed on there but anyhow that's done i've got uh, both grapples here side by side so let's take a look at those and uh, we'll talk about them a little bit all right now i'm going to be completely honest uh, my first choice on the grapple was the ea uh, but at the time i was wanting it uh, the lead times had got up to like four to six months and uh you know being me being impatient at the time uh, i went on the hunt for something that was in stock and that's why i ended up getting the titan and you know i tried to go a little bit on the heavier duty side titan does have another grapple that's probably closer in design uh and i say closer in design i mean more of a clamshell style to the ea uh but just looking at the pictures on the internet i seen the tines bend on the bottom teeth and so i decided to go with the heavier duty version all right so as i was saying you know titan does have a grapple that's uh, more of a clamshell style uh, that would probably be more closely matched now i say closely matched i mean that style and the design um but it's not built near as heavy duty as the ea so that's why i went with the hd extreme when i went with the titan grapple you know there's a ton of specs on both of these and i'll just you've probably seen those but i'll throw uh links to them down in the description you can check those out for yourself but I'll just touch on the ones that were important to me um, and why I chose this one initially, uh, but I, why I think this one is the better grapple. So the first thing is the weight. The Titan HD Extreme weighs about 970, and actually I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it weighs more than that because it just, you wouldn't think 300 pounds would make that much difference on the loader, especially a tractor this big, 100 horse Kubota. But this thing just feels heavy, even on this bigger tractor. Um, it's seven, this is a 72 inch wide so six footer the ea is right at 660 pounds so like i said about 300 pounds difference 66 inches wide this thing just feels quick and nimble it makes a difference uh this being kind of compact when you're going in between trees and grabbing things like that i've noticed the difference in this one and uh the titan the titan seems to get hung up a lot more and uh you really kind of got to watch what you're doing with that one on there let's just start at the bottom here these teeth uh initially i thought the changeable teeth would be a good thing um in hindsight i don't need those you know maybe if you were in a different situation with uh real hard materials uh rocks concrete you know all that type of stuff then these might be good for you uh but where i'm at i would never need to change these out i don't believe and uh, even though the EA doesn't have interchangeable teeth, that hard ox, I doubt I will ever wear that stuff out. And that also brings me to my next point. Uh, in my opinion, this setup and these longer bottom tines here, whatever you want to call them, don't, doesn't really lend itself well to raking material. These always want to dig in, no matter what angle you have on the grapple. And that makes sense, right? They're excavator teeth. Uh, but also this is a real wide gap here so you know we're looking at like 10 inches 10 inches wide here and so even if you do rake there's a lot of stuff that falls in between here and it's just not my favorite for raking material moving piles things like that where you have a big a big pile there to grab onto it works okay uh, but you do get a lot of small stuff that falls out and uh, through these gaps right here and falls back down the ground you gotta come back and try to pick up and this one doesn't pick up small stuff very well at all. Over to the EA, we do have, you know, that's like seven and a half inches in between the end of these tines here. So you're raking up smaller stuff a lot better. And these teeth here, 
it looks about like seven eighths of an inch wide now this is the newer design ordered this back in 2022 in october and so this has the laminated teeth up front so you have a, a primary tooth here and then you have laminations on each side of that and those flare out back here to make it create a gusset if you bend these um well i don't really see how you would but i've been like i said been pushing over trees with this thing putting all the way to that or the front of that tractor lifting the front off the ground and these st are still as straight as the uh, day i received it like i said these teeth are long so you know there's several different styles of grapples you have what they call more like a clamshell style which i would consider this ea they also make long bottom style with the single or dual lids i always gravitate more towards the clamshell style because the benefits of that is it puts all your weight back closer to the end of your loader and the long bottoms you know you have that length hanging out there similar to this right here and that is going to reduce the capacity if you get a load out on the very tip of these teeth to me it's just harder to index and know where the end of these teeth are than it is on this on this i can pretty much see these teeth from the cab and so when i go to close down on a a, a load or a pile of something i know exactly where this lid is going to close down on and so that has really saved me some time i can close down on a pile of something in one one try instead of two or three tries trying to figure out where the end of these teeth are and so another reason why i went with this particular titan grapple is i thought okay well this is kind of like a clamshell uh and a long bottom together it's just kind of a hybrid and so i thought that would be the best of both worlds uh come to find out i just prefer a clamshell style and this ea has uh, really really confirmed that like i said if you get a large pile of brush or something in here or vines it will grab it but there was a lot of times i tried to rip out some vines or brush with this and everything would just slide back through and i would come out with nothing and have to go back in and try to get some more and the reason for that is this opening here is about 17 and a half inches and the ea opening is much smaller than that well, we're looking at let's see maybe six inches something around there six six and a half and works a lot better when you're going into just a pile of vines or something up in a tree and it closes down on it almost every time i close down on a load with this and i come out with something it may only be you know four or five vines but it does grab it where that one they would just all pull through and still be attached to the tree and i didn't get anywhere on it so this is saving me time and it's working a lot better so construction wise uh, materials like i said excavator teeth there now on their website uh, titan has the the metal type as durable i think it was something you know what is that i don't know <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is half inch metal. So yeah, it's half inch, but it doesn't say what it is. You know, it may be a low grade metal and odds are that's a possibility because this is made in China. The everything attachments, uh, primarily hard ox material, which is a premium material. And then this isn't pipe, this is dom tubing. And uh, that's almost a half inch wall tubing there and that's this is the strongest you can buy to put in here this is better than schedule 40 and schedule 80 pipe of anything uh let's see what else so what do i like about the titan well, one thing i like about the titan is i mean it it is a grapple it does work okay i built i made some piles with it piled up brush moved brush uh, i do like the grease the grease system they have pins that you can grease you grease on the ends and those are you know the grease sacks are protected so they did well in, in designing that and putting those greasable pins in there and also you can tell that it sets up on its own and where it's sitting right now i can come in and get under good enough to uh, get it attached so there's only a few small minor dislikes i have with the ea and like i said those are very minor and i can certainly live with them because it performs uh great so and this is everything i wanted in a grapple as far as functionality so what what do i don't like uh just a little bit different grease cirques uh, and this one here i mean they're using bolts and that's fine you know they're you know pretty high grade bolts but this grease grease cirque here i just don't know how well that's doing or how well that's working it's got o-rings on each side of that it's probably fine 
uh, this one down in here is better and uh, that would help distribute it from one end of that bolt to the other i like that the hoses are all well protected behind this looks like maybe some channel or was some flat plate that they bent into a channel so the hoses are better protected than they are on the titan for sure i've actually hit stuff with those because they're exposed and kind of bent i think that bolt or this bracket or something there but anyway i was able to straighten it back out but that that could uh end up leading to a stick or something jobbing into that or breaking that off altogether or uh, cutting some hoses and the only other minor issue i have with this one is when everybody disconnects from these they open them up and then set them down basically on its face and then disconnect uh, and unhook from it so if there was a way to stand this up and i may end up building something uh, as far as just a little kickstand a lot of people will build wood or metal stands and then open the grapple up and set it on the stand and clamp it and then that holds it up in the air and then they can come in they're gonna hook from it and then when they get ready to hook back up you know it's there ready to go so like i said just a few very very minor issues but the benefits far outweigh the issues i have with it and this is a small company in north carolina you know they're building this with as much american materials as they can this one may be all american materials except for your hydraulic fittings i think all come from china and that's just how it is you can't find those built anywhere else but i'm pretty sure all the steel is from america the bolts if they can find it if they can find it in america and it's a good product they're going to use it and so that's what i appreciate about the ea stuff and they're providing a lot of jobs for that local community using uh, american welders and uh american labor so you know i can get behind that 100 percent well all right y'all i think i'm gonna wrap this video up uh like i said uh been using it for a couple weeks now uh, i don't have any doubt on my mind that this thing is gonna last uh for a very very long time and it's probably gonna even outlast me ea builds the type of equipment that you can hand down to your kids probably even your grandkids you know and what few issues i do have with the wicked 66 uh the benefits and the usability the functionality and the design far outweigh those issues and so obviously it's a keeper so uh you know if you're in the market for a grapple i'd urge you to uh really give them a hard consideration i know there's some other ones out there that's made in america but from what i can tell i don't see them being as well made as uh this wicked 66 here or any of the other wicked line and also you know, these are made in North Carolina in a small town by a small company. And it's refreshing to see a small company continue to innovate their products and strive to build the best products that they can. You know, they're employing American, American workers, supporting American families. And so, you know, what, what's not to like about that? Anyhow, that's all for this video. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for tagging along. Please hit that like button for me. Subscribe. Check out some of our other videos. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one.